I've played online games for many years, which, much like the comment section of any social media platform, is riddled with toxic people. So much so that seeing people just being the worst versions of themselves online is just kind of normal for me. Until recently, I thought that was just how it was. People being assholes is a community problem that the game developers have no control over. But now, I think that's only partially true. More and more, I view toxicity in video games to be more of a design problem. For example, if you remember Diablo 1, a game where you could team up with a few other people and brave the depths of hell itself. But then, the person who joined your game and took your town portal murders you and leaves the game. While perhaps an interesting idea that could possibly create some memorable PvP moments, more likely this feature caused much more grief and frustration than good game experiences. The game's rules themselves created and sometimes inspired these bad experiences. Let's go with a somewhat more recent example of the Mythic Plus system in WoW. Overall, I had loads of fun in Mythic Plus, but over time, the way it works has created, in my experience, a horrible social environment to play in. For those not familiar with WoW's M Plus system, when a player does a dungeon, they get a keystone, which is then used to begin a timed trial version of a dungeon that upon completion upgrades to a higher, more difficult version that will keep upgrading as you successfully beat the timer. If you fail the timer, your keystone is downgraded and you have to build it up again. It's a completely logical system that in theory should have players progressing at their own skill or gear level based on their performance. However, this also means that anyone you invite to your key can screw over your key. I'm not just talking about performing poorly. If a player leaves the group, then that's it. The key is dead and downgraded. This has created an environment that is obsessed with IO scores, scared to invite off meta specs, and is quick to blame everyone else in their group if anything goes poorly. In other words, a toxic environment that I've lost interest in despite having lots of good memories in Mythic Plus. A design tweak I think that would help would be to get rid of the actual keystone. Instead, when you go into a mythic, you could click on the keystone thingy and just choose what level you want to do. This would mean that a failed key doesn't punish anyone and everyone can do the content they want to do rather than doing a bunch of keys they don't want to do or feeling like they're risking something every time they pug. You could tweak this idea by only being able to start a plus 15 if you've completed a plus 14 or something like that. But the basic idea, I think, would help decrease toxicity by decreasing punishment and decreasing risk. Another way to decrease toxicity on a design level would be to simply take away opportunities for it. Perhaps a drastic example is in the PvP Crystalline Conflict in Final Fantasy XIV, where you can't chat. You can't even chat to your teammates. Instead, you are given pre-made chat commands such as attacking white mage or fall back and regroup to get people on the same page. I think Square Enix saw how brutally toxic small group skirmishes can be and just said, yeah, we just won't let you call your teammates anything at all. And the result is a pretty chill PvP experience. Now, I'm not saying these are perfect fixes, as I don't think you'll ever get rid of online toxicity completely. And there's definitely need for moderation on top of thick skin. But next time you're wondering why everyone is being such dicks in your games, stand back and look at what rules those games have that create those spaces in the first place. 